Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, Justin here with the Four Lazy Jays. Uh, it's been some time since we've put up a video, uh, almost a year. Uh, we kind of took a break. We we're just having a hard time fitting it into our schedule. And uh, so we decided now we think we have a little more free time. So we're going to try to get back to it. Maybe not as frequent as we once did, but just have fun with it. And uh, it almost became a chore for a while and it wasn't fun anymore. So now I've had some ideas for some videos. A lot has happened in the past year. Uh, one of the most exciting things is my wife and I have started doing the keto or ketogenic diet. And we're having a lot of fun with that, uh, feeling great and learning a lot of, as we go. So it's late at night. Uh, I've just finished packing for a seven day backcountry Colorado elk hunt I leave for this Thursday. And I feel so good in ketosis and on that diet that I've been studying the last few months on how to eat keto in the woods without refrigeration or anything along those lines. I've done a lot of research. Uh, I found very little online. I went on a backpacking trip back in April. Uh, I couldn't find very much and so this time around I found a little bit more and I just kind of wanted to run through my daily meals that I've put together. Uh, like most people do by now, I prepackage it each day in a Ziploc bag so I can hang these in a tree, grab them out as I need them for the day, and away we go. So I've also calculated all the macros and calories and weight on this. Uh, this whole bag weighs around 21 ounces. I'm looking just around 140 calories per ounce with this bag. So it's it's calorie dense for the weight that it is. I'm excited for some of the things that are in here. So I was just gonna kind of run through that real quick. One of the things that I found were these keto bars, if you can see that. I saw these on the Keto Connect YouTube channel and then they also kept popping up as actually a pretty good bar. So I think I'm gonna do this for breakfast in the morning along with some instant coffee and probably not this whole packet, but maybe half a packet of Bulletproof Brain Octane or, or MCT oil. Um, so that's breakfast. I'm also gonna add I made my own nut butter. Uh, this one here is pecan nut butter. I mixed in a little bit of uh, cinnamon and vanilla and half a cup of butter in a large serving and put them in these little individual bags. I'll probably squeeze this on that bar for a quick calorie dense breakfast. Um, so that's breakfast. I also found these online, just the cheese. Got them on Amazon. It's baked cheese. I don't have to worry about uh, them getting oily or greasy, uh, low carb. So that'll probably be 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, mid morning snack. Uh, that'll probably take me into lunch, which lunch will be pre measured half a cup of walnuts, some days of pecan, some days of macadamia nuts, but some sort of nut. Also package these little cheese wisp, more baked cheese. These ones are store bought. I have made my own, I just put a tablespoon of, of cheese. Uh, they're great in the smoker. You get a nice little smoky flavor if you do that, or you can do them in the oven too. It's nice and simple. Um, and then last for lunch, most of it's just snacking throughout the day. I have these Nick Sticks grass-fed beef sticks. There's two to a pack, so it'll help with a little bit of protein throughout the day. Breakfast, mid-morning snack, lunch. I also have an afternoon snack. I'm just going through my notes here and I kind of uh, schedule. I'm not gonna stick to the schedule per se, but I just wrote down my ideas of what I would do throughout the day to, to eat. So for a mid-afternoon snack, will be a Quest peanut butter cookie. I've tried all of their cookies and the peanut butters would be my favorite. 
uh, they have the closest texture to a cookie. And then another packaged, this one is walnut butter, very similar to my pecan butter. Make it at home in the food processor. Uh, got the idea from Headbanger's Kitchen. And it's actually a lot of fun to make and it's delicious. Uh, I've changed, modified my recipe a little bit. But uh, again, I'll probably squirt this on the cookie. That'll be afternoon snack. And then for dinner, I'm excited about this. This is something that I just found. This is from Next Mile Meals. And reading online, the founders of the company were hiking, I think it was the PCT and trying to stay keto. And so they make their own meals. I follow them on Instagram. They show they make them in small batches. And this is something, this meal, like I would eat at home, not in a freeze dried version, in a, in a fresh version, but I'm excited to try this. This is the beef tacos, which I believe it is mostly ground beef and some cheese in here uh, and some seasonings. The protein's kind of high on this. Fat is 48 grams. Net carbs, total carbs is seven grams with three grams of fiber. So we're looking for net carbs, but it's 44 grams of protein. It's higher than what I usually would, would do with protein, but maybe in the back country, maybe that'll help. To add to the fat, I have these little single serving olive oil packets that I will be squirting in this. Uh, probably put some salt in here too. That's one of the last things that I really need to add. And then I've used these before in the past more nut butter. They're kind of a crutch or a fat bomb out in the back country for me. Uh, these are the F-bombs. Decided to try the salted chocolate macadamia. Just kind of simple, easy package, dense in calories, good in fat. I'll probably do that for maybe dessert, but all this here, as small and as simple as it is, totals to 2,720 calories, which I'm trying to eat around 25 to 2800 is what I usually eat on a regular daily basis. I ran some numbers. Uh, there's this whole meal is 253 grams of fat, 21 net carbs, and 112 grams of protein. So it calculates out to 65 and a half percent fat. If you have a little pie chart, 5.4% uh, carbs and 29% protein. This pretty much sums it up. I'm excited. I'm obsessed with food. I've thought more about this than I have anything else on this hunt. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into the woods, but also enjoying this food, especially my homemade nut butters. But if you're into doing keto, backcountry, even not keto, just regular meals, I'd love to know your thoughts on this kind of diet or any healthy version of backcountry meals that you can carry with you. Thanks for watching this. Again, I'd love to hear from you on your meals and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. We're gonna get more videos coming. So thanks for watching.